Hello. Welcome to Symbolic's video presentation, Enhancing Citrix Provisioning Services with Symbolic MelioFS. This presentation demonstrates how Symbolic MelioFS Advanced Cluster File System enhances Citrix Provisioning Services, or PVS, by addressing the shared storage requirement necessary to facilitate high availability of target device virtual disk workloads and write cache files. Placing these files on shared SAN storage allows PVS to leverage the inherent performance, scalability, and reliability capabilities of SANs to meet the excessive I.O. demands imposed by many of the dominant applications and solutions deployed in phase enterprise data centers. With provisioning services, administrators were able to rapidly and securely provision and repurpose desktops and servers on the fly from a central management console, reducing the costs associated with desk software rollouts, maintenance, and upgrades, and increasing business agility. When deployed in conjunction with MelioFS and SAN storage, PVS can effectively support mid to large size environments at optimal levels and can scale seamlessly as additional devices, users, and our applications are implemented. Using shared storage provided by MelioFS and SAN storage, PVS can also extend the capabilities of other leading technologies, such as application virtualization, application streaming, and VDI, or virtual desktop infrastructure, by allowing solutions based on these technologies to achieve greater levels of performance, scalability, and availability. The end result? A more robust, flexible foundation capable of transforming today's static data center into tomorrow's agile dynamic delivery center. Before we begin the demonstration, let's take a moment to review Symbolic's SAN storage enhancing product line. Symbolic has five major products in its portfolio. MelioFS, an advanced cluster file system that allows multiple servers to share concurrent block level access to data stored on storage area network storage. La Scala, a host-based volume manager that allows administrators to create and expand storage volumes dynamically, improving storage efficiency and simplifying storage management. SILM, or Simple Information Lifecycle Manager, that allows administrators to create user-defined policies to automatically copy or move data from one SAN volume to another, facilitating data backup and recovery and data availability. Filer Scaler, a standalone management utility that allows administrators to create, organize, and administer network shares including assigning share permissions and security across an entire IT infrastructure from a centralized management interface. And AppCluster, application clustering software that virtualizes physical resources, such as disks and network, to allow quick migration of the resources between physical or virtual machines running applications using those resources. Now that we provide an overview of Sandbox products, let's proceed to the demonstration. This diagram describes the components and topology for this demonstration. To save time, provisioning services server software has already been installed on two Windows Server 2008 SP2 64-bit physical servers named Fox and Feral. And a PVS farm has been created that contains two Windows Server 2008 32-bit virtual machines running on Citrix's Zen Server 5.0 server virtualization platform. The PVS data store containing the virtual disks for the virtual machines are located on shared storage, 150 gigabyte LUN, that was provisioned from a fiber channel storage controller and formatted with MelioFS, allowing both provisioning servers to share block level access to the virtual disks. Let's take a look at the PVS administrator console on the provisioning servers. Box is one of the provisioning servers, and Feral is the other provisioning server. Going back to Fox, We'll first show the current connections between the virtual machines and the provisioning servers. Feral showing an active connection to 2008 VM1. Fox showing an active connection to 2008 VM2. Now we'll show the PBS data store located in the Melio volume. As you can see, the virtual disks images for the virtual machines are located in the Melio store. Looking at the properties of the Melio store, we see that it's owned by the first site. The path is p backslash pvs. And both Fox and Feral share block level access to this data store. In addition to providing the provisioning servers with concurrent access to data stored in the Melio volume, the MelioFS has also been installed inside the virtual machines, allowing the virtual machines to share block level access via iSCSI to another LUN formatted with MelioFS which can be used to store application or user data. With this configuration, 
Business and our mission critical applications can achieve significant improvements in performance, scalability, and availability as they run concurrently on the virtual machines. For example, if the virtual machines are acting as file servers and web servers, requests to access files or library content can be load balanced amongst the servers. Since the servers share access to the data required to process those requests, they can work in tandem, serving up more files or content at any given time. And if one of the servers were to encounter a failure, the remaining online server will continue to handle new requests, preventing downtime while the failed server is repaired. Throughout this demonstration, the Zen server hosts and the virtual machines will be visible via Citrix Zen Center, a Windows-based management client that is used to create and manage Zen server virtual machines. The virtual machines that we use for this demonstration are named Server 2008 VM1 and Server 2008 VM2. There are two Zen server host systems, Zen Host A and Zen Host B, both of which are members of a pool or group of shared resources called Zen Pool. In the Zen Pool, there's a storage repository called ZenXR which is an iSCSI LUN that is accessible by both hosts. This shared storage repository is a prerequisite for performing advanced virtual machine operations such as the live migration of virtual machines or Zen motion between hosts. To begin the demonstration, let's present the virtual machines via the Zen Center Management Console. Here is a view of the Zen Center Management Console. Our two servers, Server 2008 VM1 resides on Zen Host A, and Server 2008 VM2 resides on Zen Host B. As you can see, looking through the PBS Virtual Disk Status Tray, Virtual, Di virtual Machine 2 has an active connection to 192.168.0.211, which is Fox, and Server 2008 Virtual Machine 1 has an active connection to 192.168.0.229, which is Faro. Opening my computer on each virtual machine, you'll also notice that each VM has an active connection to drive letter I, which is a shared iSCSI LUN that's been formatted with MelioFS. Melio, drive letter I, and the other server. We'll open up my computer. Melio, drive I. When the virtual machines were first started, they pixie booted to retrieve their virtual disk workload, which include the operating system, system files, and configuration information. Once the desktops appeared, the virtual machines acted as if they had booted off their local hard drive. And as users begin to use the systems, their desktop experience will be just as rich and responsive as if the applications were hosted locally, even though they are actually located remotely within the virtual disk stored on the MELU volume. This is the beauty of desktop application streaming via provisioning services. If we, to demonstrate the high availability feature within PBS, we will now shut down one of the provisioning servers via the PBS administrator console. Let's go ahead and shut down Feral. We'll go back to Fox. Remember, Fox Feral is currently has an active connection with VM1. We'll go ahead and stop Feral, stop the service, go back to the Zen Center, on, and in Virtual Machine 1, we will attempt to open Notepad. Notepad opens. We go back to the Virtual Disk Status Tray. And as we try to do something else, you'll notice that it is reconnected to 11, which is Fox. Now if we go back over to Fox, and close this and refresh the screen, you can see that Fox now has two connections, one to 2008 VM1 and one to 2008 VM2. Let's go ahead and restart Feral. Refresh the administrator console. To continue viewing this demonstration, please see part two of this video presentation, Enhancing Citrix Provisioning Services with Melio FS.